XRD data where X axis is 2 theta and the Y axis is the pounds or the intensity. In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform peak fitting to the XRD data. We will be considering only one single peak which has the highest intensity. So to begin with, first click on scale in button, choose this and choose the peak which for which you want to perform the fitting. Now here we can see the peak has been selected. Now go back and click on the data selector. So once you click on the data selector, you will see there will be two vertically pointed arrow. Click on this arrow with the left button and drag it to drag it nearby the peak center. Now select a proper range. Okay. Now go back and click on the analysis. In the analysis, you will find the fourth option is for fitting. In, on the right hand side of fitting, you will see option for non-linear curve fit. So the shortcut key is Ctrl Y. Click over here. Now in this case, you will see on the setting side, there is a option for function selection, data selection, fitted curve and all those things. So function selection, first we will go to function selection and the category original basic function. So instead of original basic, I will go to the peak function. In the peak function, then I will go to the functions. Over here you will see a Gaussian peak function or a Lorentzian peak function. So first I will choose the Gaussian peak function. Once I will set the Gaussian peak function, it will automatically start to perform the fitting. Now here you can find option that's a peak. Uh, fit until converge so click over here and it will start to fit so at the best fitting we can perform by using gaussian function to this xrd peak so here we will see that the red line in the bottom is not matching with the experimental data so this fitting doesn't look so good how to know the fitting is good or bad you can also look at the number that is cod r square number which is 0 0.987 which is pretty low because th if this number close to one means your fitting is excellent so to check it again, go back to the function, select the Lorentzian function instead of Gaussian. So over here you can see a Lorentz function and repeat the same procedure, fit until converge. So click over here. Now you can see the red line is, is almost overlapping with the experimental data. To know the quality of fitting, you can see the COD number which is 0 0.997 which is very close to 1. So that also shows that fitting is very good. If you go and click on residual, so this shows the residual, the difference between the black experimental data and the red fitting curve, which is very low compared to the intensity because here intensity is 20,000 and this one 1,000. Then we can go to see the formula for the Lorentzian. So over here you will see a Lorentzian, how is the Lorentzian function. And then you can go to the sample curve. So this shows the sample curve, what is the fluid half mix size over here that is w y equal to y0 so it various parameter used during this fitting then is a message here is a function file and click on the option like a code so this code shows the formula which has been used to fit this curve that is a Lorentzian function then you can go and look at the parameter so these are the parameter y0 xc w and a as i showed here sample curve y equal to y0 x c y c and the w those are these number so what is w is a full width half maximum that is defined in this graph which is 0 0.239 for this sample then is a peak center that is x c that is here x c click on done and then it will ask you reminder message do you want to switch to the report sheet if you click yes it will show you the report in this report you will find again y0 x c w a and h respective error bar and if you want to see the fitting curve, you can go to the fitting curve 1. So over here you can see a fitted curve plot, then histogram of the residual plot and residual uh, predicted value plot. So again we will come back to this window. And here also you will see a short summary about Y0, X, W and A with the error bar. I hope through this video you have you learn how to perform peak fitting of XRD data. Please do like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon button to be updated with the new videos. Thank you for watching.